Have you ever wondered how I create 10 to 20 pieces of content in one hour? Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you the inside scoop. Katie Lance here and I'm so excited because this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I get asked all the time about the idea of batch creating content and I create a lot of content all at once and in this video I'm going to share with you some of my best secrets for how you can create 10, 15, 20 pieces of content or more inside an hour. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three tips, and then at the end, I'm gonna give you two examples so you can put this practice into play right away. Now, by the way, if you're watching this over on YouTube, we would love if you'd hit the subscribe button and the bell button as we have new videos like this that come out each and every week. All right, let's get on with the tips. Tip number one, time block. The only way I'm able to batch create a lot of content all in one sitting is because I put it on my calendar. I have been doing this for years and years, and I have found, just like anything else, if it's not on your calendar, it's not going to happen, right? So we've gotta be intentional, and I find that when it comes to creating content, that it'll take however much time you give it. So if you give yourself a whole day, it's gonna take a whole day. I like to try to kind of challenge myself, so I will set aside an hour and see how much I can get done in that hour and I typically will time block at least once or twice every single month now don't get me wrong when it comes to batching and creating content that's not the only content that I'm posting but by creating a lot of content all in one batch it's a huge time saver and it's just a nice big breath of relief to know that you've got content in the can and then if something comes up in the moment something you know is trending or something that you just feel really passionate about that you want to publish you can do that but you still have your content in the can and by the way as I always say if I'm going to do my hair and makeup and record one video, you better believe I'm going to record a bunch. Okay, so number one, get it on your calendar. Number two, have a list of topics. So you may have wondered, how in the heck can I create 10, 20 pieces of content so quickly? Well, part of that is I always have a running list of topics. Now, I do this a few different ways. When it comes to our YouTube videos, these are longer form videos. A lot of these videos are five, 10, 15 minutes, even longer. So we have a whole spreadsheet, we have a whole editorial calendar we use for that content that we plan out months and months in advance. But for my short form content, I'm a little bit old school. I always have a notebook right by my desk and as I get inspired, as folks ask me questions, as I'm chatting with real estate agents and brokers about their business, as I am maybe watching something on Netflix, I look at my life as content and I always get inspired. Maybe I saw a reel from someone else or I saw a piece of content that I'm like, ooh, I could put my own spin on that. So I am always brainstorming a list of topics. So when it comes time to create a lot of content all in one sitting, I'm not wondering, hmm, what should I create? I've got a list of topics. Now these topics, by the way, are not topics that I necessarily need to research or do a whole lot of homework on. These are things that just speak to me that I know, hey, I could speak to that. I could speak to a 30 second video on each one of these topics or a 60 second video on each one of those topics, right? So keep that running list of topics, whether it's on your phone or a notepad, but look at your life as content. Tip number three, stick to one goal. So when it comes to batching content or creating a lot of content all in one sitting, I like to stick to one goal. And what I mean by that is I don't necessarily need to do all of the content uh, process all in one sitting. For example, if I am sitting and creating 10 videos, that hour is most likely gonna be focused just on the creation of video content. I might schedule some separate time for editing my videos if I'm doing that video editing myself, especially with real. I might also set aside a little bit of time to write my captions uh, because that, that takes a different part of your brain. So I will say the more organized you are, the better. And when I get to those examples here in just a second, you're gonna see how I can crank out a lot of content all in one sitting. But stick with the goal. If you are recording a bunch of videos all in one batch, you might be able to record, edit, and write your captions all within that hour. I know if I really challenge myself, I can crank it out and I can make it happen. Uh, but a big part of it is getting organized, getting on your, on your calendar and again sticking to that goal. Okay, let's get into a couple quick examples that you can use right away to create a bunch of content all within less than an hour. Example number one, let's use Instagram stories. So I love to use Instagram stories to batch create a lot of content quickly and easily. And part of this is I just love the formatting inside Instagram stories. Now I use Instagram stories for batch creating videos, especially when I'm creating video content where I'm not on camera. Yes, it's okay to create some faceless videos where you're not necessarily 
on camera, but you're creating something that's still really helpful and informative. And what I love about doing this is I love to do this quickly by creating a series. I've done this many times on Instagram. I have a series on Instagram story ideas for real estate agents. I have a series on Instagram gifts. And what I love about series is number one, they're easy to batch create. And I'm going to share with you how I do it in just a second. And number two, they're really great for engagement because once you post the second or third or fourth in your caption, you can say, Hey, this is fourth in a series. If you'd like the links to the other parts of the series, like and comment below and guess what so many people do, <laughs> they will ask for those other links. So when you create a series uh, quickly and easily, it's a great way to batch it fast, but it's also a way to really get engagement. So one of the ways I do this through Instagram stories is I will go into stories and I'd love to use the little create button in stories. And I'm going to first make my title card or my cover image. So in this example, let's say you want to create a video of, uh, or a series about home buyer tips. Okay, so maybe you open up Instagram stories and you type in home buyer tips part one, and maybe you add a fun little GIF, right? So I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna save that to my phone. That's gonna be my cover photo for the first video. Now, I'm not gonna post it. I'm gonna delete part one. I'm gonna change it to part two. I'm gonna save it to my phone. I'm gonna change part two to part three, save it to my phone. You get the idea. So by the end here, if I'm creating 10 videos, now I've got 10 thumbnails on my phone ready to go. Okay, that's the first part of the video. The second part of the video is the tip, right? What's that home buyer tip? So I'm going to open up Instagram stories again. I'm going to use that create button. And now, uh, now of course you could get on camera and do this if you want, but if you don't want to be on camera, you want to do that faceless video, you can just type it out on screen. So you might say, you know, the tip is, you know, whatever that tip might be, write a sentence or two, again, add a GIF. If you'd like, save it to your phone, right? That's going to be the, the first part of your first video. Then you're going to delete that, write another tip, save it to your phone, delete it, write another tip, delete it, right? So now you've got your introductory uh, kind of thumbnails and now you've got one frame for that tip, okay? So you're gonna have a lot of stuff on your camera roll, <laughs> but you've got those 10 thumbnails and now you've got those 10, uh, 10 tips. Now, as a little interjection here, if you've seen any of our videos about ChatGPT, you know ChatGPT is a great way to get ideas for content. So you can easily go into ChatGPT and say, hey, write me a list of 10 killer homebuyer tips for people moving to the Denver area or San Francisco or whatever your area is of choice. It's gonna give you some great tips and you can use that as you're doing this in Instagram stories for your video. Okay, the last part of this video is I like to have a little end screen on the, on the end of my videos that says like, comment, share. And again, I do this in Instagram stories. So I'll open up stories, uh, click that create button. I'm gonna have a nice kind of blank frame and under gifts, I'm gonna search for like, comment, share. And I find one I like, put it on the screen. I'm gonna download it to my phone. So now I've got all the components on my phone. I've got those 10 cover photos, I've got my 10 tips, and I've got that last piece that's gonna be that like, comment, and share. Now I can go into Instagram Reels. I can go into Reels and I can upload that first video so I can upload the cover photo, the middle part, and the end. I can add some music, which I recommend, and maybe add a fun trending song, save it as a draft rinse and repeat, start a new reel, add that second thumbnail, add the second tip, add the end, uh, the end card or the end piece, add some fun music, save it as a draft. Now again, I wouldn't necessarily write all the captions right then and there because you're creating and getting it into your Instagram reels. I would schedule some time later on, maybe a week or two later, <laughs> where you're going to then write those captions, okay? So you're saving those all as drafts on Instagram. Now, as a little bonus tip, I wouldn't just let them live on Instagram. I would actually save the finished file to your phone because now you've got that finished file and now you can cross post that over to TikTok or YouTube Shorts or wherever you'd like, okay? So again, this is a really easy way to batch create at least 10, not even, you know, maybe 15 to 20 uh, videos all in one batch. Idea number two, you're gonna talk straight to camera. Okay, straight to camera, this is something I've, I've done many, many times, and I do this because I give a lot of presentations. So I, oftentimes I will give a presentation and I have slides, right? I've given an, an hour long talk or a half an hour long talk, and I will take those slides and each one of those slides, guess what, can be a quick video. I did this back in like December or January and I batch created a ton of videos, literally took my slides, picked out 10 that I liked, walked outside my backyard, 
and just recorded straight to camera 30 seconds to 60 seconds for each point that was on my slide. If you are in real estate, you may or may not be giving presentations, but I bet you a lot of you have listing presentations, right? So why not print out that listing presentation and pick 10 of the most important parts of that listing presentation, grab your phone, open up that camera and record 10, 15 quick videos that are little snippets that have to do with your listing presentation. It's a really easy way to create a bunch of content quickly. Now again, you've got that on your phone. Of course, at a later date, you probably wanna go in, do a little bit of video editing, get those scheduled, et cetera, et cetera. And especially with your listing presentation because that type, that type of content is timeless. It's evergreen, right? I know when I did this back in January, I was creating so many videos that I had content I could still post in April, May, June that was still relevant. And again, that's not all the content, right? So if something comes up, something's timely, you can still create that content. But that it's that feeling of like, ah, oh, I've got it banked. All right, so I would love to hear from you. What do you think? Do you like these ideas? Let me know in the comments below. Are you inspired? Are you gonna be creating some content and batch creating content? Let me know. Uh, and if you are looking for some content ideas, we've got you covered. I've got a free content grid I would love for you to download. Go to katielance.com forward slash content grid. katielance.com forward slash content grid. Download it, it's gonna give you 30 content ideas that's gonna help jumpstart your content strategy. As always, like I said, we have videos that come out each and every week. If you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button uh, and the like button and leave me a comment below. We'd love to connect with you. All right, I'll see you soon. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye for now.